Hello, welcome to the channel. I'm Savannah and here I talk about the fun side of minimalism and today we are diving into none other than my massive Christmas decorations box. I have this huge tote. I think this is as big as they come and believe it or not, I used to have like three or four of these giant totes filled with decorations and I have pared down a lot. I got down to just one box. And I just pulled it out and I'm looking inside and I've seen a lot of stuff that I'm just not vibing with. When I started my adult life, I got most of my decorations from Target, Big Lots, the dollar store. But as I get older, it's starting to build more memories and traditions of my own. I really want the decorations and the Christmas mementos in my home to reflect actual memories and stories and parts of my life. So let's ditch the Target stuff. <laughs> and not all Target stuff is bad. I just have a little too much of it. Let's dive in. I'm putting 30 minutes on my timer and I want to declutter pretty quickly, get through this. I've got dinner in the oven and I got things to do. This first one is an extra stocking. I've held onto it because it's beautiful but it doesn't match our other ones and I just don't really have a purpose. So letting this one go. Next are these two wooden pumpkins from my mom. Thank you, mom, but I just don't put these out. I totally forgot about them for Halloween and I'm not gonna put them out for Thanksgiving. So I'm going to pass these on. Next up is this DIY wreath. Falling apart a little, just needs a little bit of hot glue. It will fix her right up. It's really cute. I just don't like plastic plants or foliage at all in my house. So I'm going to let this go. Next we have Elf on the Shelf, a classic little toy game from my mother-in-law and father-in-law. We haven't used this a ton. We did put them out a little bit last year. My son's not even a year and a half yet. So he doesn't really quite get it, but it's super cute. So I'm going to hold on to this. Next, I have this really cute fabric bag. I guess you could say gift bag. It has some old fashioned wooden skis on it. Again, this is from my mom. My mom gives me really, really sweet things. And I've held onto this thinking I would give it to someone else, re-gift it, use it for something special. But it's been like five years and I have never used it. So I'm going to let this one go. Next, we have this bell. It's a really sweet bell. Another <laughs> gift from my mom you're gonna see a theme my mom sends me a lot of sweet holiday stuff but for me i don't have any memories attached to this it has no significance in the history of my life and although it's nice it feels quite store-bought i guess you could say so i'm going to let this one go to someone else next i have this pile of faux foliage faux plants a little sparkly we've got some branches we've got some berries the extra craft supplies from the wreath craft i held on to them to put them in vases to decorate my house but ultimately i don't like plastic plants even if they're glittery they are nice. I used them in vases last year, but even when I had them in my house last year, I kind of just felt like, eh, I, I don't like it that much. So I'm going to let these go. Next up is this little peace sign. It's a bit too big to be an ornament and it's almost too small to be a sign. And I actually picked this up with a lot of other decorations in here from this sample sale I went to when I used to work for this home furnishings company. And so I think I just bought it because it was a good deal. So I'm going to pass on the peace sign. Next, I have something sentimental. When I think of my decorations, I really think of a few key pieces and kind of forget about all the rest. And I think of this one because I have memories tied to it. This is a brass reindeer from my grandma and I love the design of this. It's very classic Christmas meets kind of mid-century modern and it's a great size. It's not too tiny. I feel like tiny decorations just get lost and this is big enough to make an impact in the room. So really looking forward to decorating with this this year and so many years to come. Next, I have this driftwood nativity scene. This was a gift from one of my girlfriends when I lived in my first apartment at the beach. And it made a lot more sense when I lived at the beach and it went with all of my decorations. But in the last few years, I've had a hard time finding a place for all these sweet little wise men. And so I'm gonna let this guy go this time. Next, I have these extra Christmas cocktail napkins. I bought them maybe three or four years ago when we had a Christmas party. I've been holding onto them, saving them for a rainy day. But honestly, I don't love the design. I think I chose it because it was probably one of the only ones left. And so I'm gonna let these guys go. Next up is this Santa hat. I think my husband bought this a few years back for a Christmas party, but it is way too big for his head and way too big for mine. And honestly, I just really don't like this pom-pom on this little rope. It really bothers me. So I'm gonna say bye to the Santa hat. All right, let's see what's within this box. We have extra ribbon. I'm going to let this go. I'm going to let go of just any wrapping tidbits. I, I don't need to hold on to them. Same goes for this extra ribbon. I'm going to let it go. What do I have here? Okay. This 
silver Christmas tree. It's cute enough. I got this from Home Goods in probably 2014, 2015. It's done all right for me. It's done the job over the years, but I just don't have any sentimental feelings towards this tree in the slightest, so I'm gonna let it go. I feel like I'm decluttering this entire box, <laughs> but I'm okay with it. All right, next we have my star, my Christmas tree star. It is pretty cute. It is a, I was gonna say six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven pointed star. It is mirrored. I got it nowhere special. I think I got this at Home Goods probably the same year that I got this little tree. It's cute enough. I, I think I may replace it in coming years, but for now I'm gonna hold on to my star. The next item is this porcelain Santa. I believe he's from Ikea. He's pretty cute. I like the size of him. I usually find a spot for him. I'm not in love with this Santa just because he's from Ikea. He recently entered my life, but for now he's cute enough to make the cut. A wooden pumpkin that I did not care enough about to remember or bring out for Halloween and for fall. This item and also this tree are items that have been on my mind to declutter these last few years and I'm actually ready to finally bite the bullet. So goodbye wooden pumpkin. Oh, here's a little cross stitch. <laughs> I think I did this last year or maybe the year before when I was pregnant. Just a little cross stitch thing to do. It was a fun craft, but I just, I don't need it. It didn't turn out that great. I didn't center it <laughs> enough so it doesn't work for an ornament. So I'm going to declutter this. And then I have an extra ring. This was a leftover from the wreath making process. So I'm gonna let this go. Okay, moving on to a few more sentimentals. These are also decorations that I think of and remember and look forward to bringing out each year. And these are actually my husband's. They were gifted to us from his grandparents because they belonged to his great grandmother. We have the Santa chef, the baker who is cooking a gingerbread cookie. And we also have a classic Santa holding a snowman. These Santas were part of a bigger collection that my husband grew up seeing each year and they have now been divvied up among the children and the grandchildren and they are just so special. So I love to put these out and just see them in our home. Next, I have this really funny print. It is these two Dalmatian dogs with fancy collar necklaces drinking <laughs> martinis. I bought this print from one of my favorite illustrator artists. Her name is Willa Hart on Instagram. She does really cool holiday cards and just a ton of great illustrations and prints. I'm going to hold on to this. I like putting it out for my holiday parties. We have a lot of fun cocktails and things to try and this just fits my vibe. Next up are stockings. I had these made. <laughs> I had them personalized the first year that me and my husband were dating. Maybe a little presumptuous, but hey, here we are nine years later. Yeah, about nine years later, and we're still rocking the stockings. They're sweet, they're from Pottery Barn. I definitely splurged at the time. I think I paid maybe like 30 to $50 for each knitted stocking, but they've really held up and I think they have a classic look to them. And now we just need one for our little one. Next up is all of my extra wrapping, mostly gift bags that I saved from last year. I'm not a big gift bag person. I really like more traditional wrapping, but we do often get presents sent directly here from family. So these work really well for a last minute wrap job. So I am going to hold on to these just because they're practical and I probably will use them. Next up is this hot pad. What do you call these? For pulling out hot stuff out of the oven. It is seasonal. I really don't like having seasonal towels and things like this because you can only use them for such a short window. I usually go with neutral colors because they are seasonless and they go with any holiday. So even though this is very darling, I'm going to let it go into the hands of another baker. Oh yeah, this dried orange garland I made last year and held on to. I just put one of those little silicone bead bags in with them so they didn't get weird, funky, moldy. They actually kept really well, so definitely holding on to those. So those are my decoration <laughs> decorations, but the rest of this box are actually ornaments. I have a ton, and it would probably take me like three or four hours to chat through every single one. So I'm going to go through them on my own and then show you everything I'm keeping and everything I'm letting go. And it's time for me to watch my son, so I'm gonna bring the ornaments out onto a taller dresser where my little one can't reach and go through them there. Let's go ahead and transport them.
So here are all of my ornament keeps. I actually opened one more box of decorations. I have this felt Fala La banner and a few twinkle lights. The rest of these are ornaments. Keeping these ornaments, these ornaments, and these ornaments. I know it looks like a lot and it is a lot, but I, I love my ornaments and we always get a big tree. And these are my ornament discards and I'm gonna have my husband look through all of these just to make sure that he is okay with the ones I've selected and let him pull out any ones he wants to keep. All right, here's where we're at. I moved everything onto the sofa so you could see it all in its entirety. Over here, we have all of my keeps, which I'm going to show you. And then over here are my discard items. I have four grocery bags full of things, Christmas decorations, a little bit of fall stuff, and I feel good about everything that I'm discarding. And for the ornaments, my husband took a gander and he was good with letting all of them go. <laughs> so I guess I'm a little maybe more sentimental. And my plan for all of these discard items is to post them onto my local Buy Nothing group so that a neighbor can pick them up and use them. And if you're not on your local Buy Nothing group, get on it. It is the best way, at least in my opinion, to get rid of things you no longer need and also to find things that you do need. And then onto my keeps here, I found some extra gift tag stickers. I really like the print of these. They're really, really cute. So I'm gonna use these this year. One strand of twinkle fairy lights. This tiny little tree, I love these old school. What is this? Pipe cleaner, pipe cleaner tree. This is cute. I do need a few little things for my built-in shelves in my kitchen. And this is something I think would look really nice there. It just has to be the right size, you know? And then I have this pack of matches, which I actually need because I have some candles in like pretty deep jars to light. One more thing in here, and this is just an Ikea find, but this one looks really, really pretty kind of twinkling in the night. And so I like to use this in the bathroom on the bathroom counter. Over here, I kept one, two, three shoe boxes, plus this one square box of ornaments. So I really kept actually kind of a lot of ornaments. So that's everything. Actually, not everything. I have a couple new things. Let me grab them and show you. Okay, <laughs> I got my two new things. So first, I just got this maybe a week ago at a thrift store, an antique store, and it is this set of angel wings. I've always really loved angel wings. I've just been drawn to the imagery my whole life. I think if I ever got a tattoo, <laughs> I wouldn't get like giant angel wings. I'm not getting a tattoo, but I just have considered it if I was ever going to get one. I think this is <laughs> an image that I like. But these are my wings. And so my plan for the wings is to hang them on my door, on the inside of one of my doors. And for my Christmas decorations, I'm trying to own less, but for the items that I keep, I want them to be a big statement and be really memorable for me and just any guests in my home. So those are my angel wings. And my second new item is this really fun, colorful maximalist wall hanging noel tis the season i really like eclectic decor i know my christmas decorations really lean more i guess traditional <laughs> what's left of them <laughs> i know there's not that much to go off of and my plan for my home for this christmas and many christmases to come is to have really fun eclectic pieces that are a little bit more colorful a little more wacky and beyond the decorations that i have right here my other plan for my house is to layer in a ton of just organic materials if you happen to catch my fall decorating video you would have seen that i brought in a lot of things from outside the best decorations in my opinion are ones that are just from the great outdoors mother nature so i'm planning to bring in a real tree some boughs some branches who knows whatever i can find outside so that's it for my christmas declutter i have this giant empty bin i think i can downsize a little bit this year you guys i think i can get a smaller toe and now i have all of my holiday decorations nice and organized just in time because i'm hosting a very 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 casual holiday party which means it's time for me to get decorating and i'd love to hear from you guys in the comments how many holiday decorations do you own i know by most minimalist standards i have a crazy amount but for me i love 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 Christmas. I love to decorate for Christmas. So for me, this pile right here works really well for my life and is totally manageable. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do. I would love to have you here. I'll catch you guys in my next one. Have a fun day and happy holidays. Bye.